Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see one more application in backtracking that is finding Hamiltonian cycles in a graph. Hamiltonian cycles. So this is also one of the applications of backtracking. So backtracking main motto is to find all the feasible solutions not the best solution using backtracking okay so we'll check all the possibilities and if one possibility doesn't suitable the solution is doesn't suitable and it does not lead to the feasible solution we are supposed to backtrack and we start with the alternate solution right now coming to this particular hamiltonian cycles let us consider a graph okay see let us consider this graph let us consider this graph so this graph means a combination of vertices and edges okay so this is a graph and this graph forms a cycle right so forms a cycle and this graph will be having a lot of cycles but here our main problem is finding of hamiltonian cycles so what is meant by hamiltonian cycle so consider a starting vertex visit all other vertex at least once sorry exactly once and come back to the original vertex from the source vertex so this called as a hamiltonian cycle so I'll write what is a Hamiltonian Hamiltonian cycle start from source vertex visit all vertices all vertices exactly once and come back to source vertex this is called a Hamiltonian cycle so we need to find out how many Hamiltonian cycles were there in this particular graph by using backtracking okay so the same thing we have learned somewhere else right yes so the same problem that means starting from source vertex, visiting all vertices exactly once and coming back to the source vertex is a solution of the traveling salesperson problem. But he, there we have to solve this with a minimum cost. That means the traveling salesperson have to start from the source vertex, visit all other vertices in the graph and come back to the source vertex with a minimum cost so there also will be getting a lot of cycles lot of paths but we we are going to select only the optimal solution right but here we are finding all the possible paths okay so this is a hamiltonian cycles so how we have to how we can find out these hamiltonian cycles see let us start with the source let us consider this source don't change the source so if you change the source the cycle may be equal right so we should not consider that one fix it the source vertex and find out all possible paths feasible solutions so let it be so first i'll write the outgoing edges okay of every vertex for example consider a so A is having outgoing vertices to B and C. B, B is having the outgoing vertices A, C, D. A, C and D. And C, C is having outgoing vertex A, B and E. A, B and E. So it will be very easy. Okay. So B, B is having the outgoing vertices B, E, F. B, E, F. 
and E is having the outgoing vertex C D F. C D F and F is having the outgoing vertices D and E. So with the help of this one, so usually we call it as an adjacency matrix. Okay, adjacency matrix. So uh, instead of writing the adjacency matrix, I have written the complete nodes, adjacency nodes, right? Now start with the vertex, source vertex. So let it be my source vertex is A, right? A. So here we are starting from source vertex A and we have to visit all other vertices exactly once. So from A, what are the outgoing edges B and C? Let it be. This is B and this is C. And we know that the backtracking will work on depth for such. So first we need to find out the depth. So yes A and C. Now B. What are the outgoing edges? A, C and D. C. A, C and D. A is already visited because we are at B from A itself. So A is visited. So you need not consider A. So what are the outgoing edges? C and D. So C, D. Okay, C and D. Now we need to find out the depth. So C. C is A, B, E. So A, B are already visited. So if you are at C, we are from B. If you are in B, we are from A. So A, B are already visited. So only one vertex is now unvisited. That is E. So C is having E. Now check this E. E is having outgoing edges C, D, F. Among this, among that, C is already visited. So there are only two possibilities D and F. So D and F. Coming to D. B E F. So E is there. B is there. There is no F. So here we can have F. So F D E already visited. Right. Now you can observe in this path A B C E D F. So how many nodes are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 nodes are there. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All nodes have been visited. So here the last step is F is the last node visited. So we need to check whether there is an edge between F and A. Then only it forms an Hamiltonian cycle. So starting from, I mean start with the source vertex visit all other nodes exactly once and come back to the source vertex. So start from the source vertex, visited all our vertex uh, exactly once and now it have to visit back to source vertex. So F having edges D and E. So there is no direct connection from F, A, F to A. So this path is not feasible. This path is not feasible. So backtrack backtrack so there is an alternate way okay here from f there is d and e in this path check whether d and e have been visited or not e is already visited but d is not visited so there is a path from f to d again check so here you can see one two three four five and six so all nodes have been visited and now it should go back to source vertex. So check whether D is having an edge to A. So D is having no edge to A. So this is also not feasible. So again backtrack. So here also one possibility backtrack and the, there is a, another possibility. So A, B and D. So from D check B, E, F. B is already visited. So E and F. E and F. Now E. So depth first search, right? E. C, D, F. D is visited. So C and F. So here it will be C and it will be F. Coming to C. Edges are A, B, E. Check out. A is there. B is there. E is there. So 
how many nodes we have visited here? One, two, three, four, five. So this is not feasible because there is no edge from C. Okay, because C is having an edges towards A, B, G, which are already visited. A, B, G in this path. So backtrack and follow this one. Okay. F. So from F there is an edge between D and E. So in this path A, B, D, E, F, check whether D and E are visited. Yes, D and E are visited. Now count the nodes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So total nodes are 6. But only 5 are visited and there is no other edge which, which is used to visit the unvisited node. So this is also not feasible. Backtrack, backtrack and go with the another possibility. So in order to reach F, we have to travel from A, B, D, F. So from F, there is a D and E. So in this path, D is already visited. We have, we have to visit E. So there is one path. It, it is E. Now from E, there is a C, D, F. Check. D, F are already visited. There is no edge to C here. So the next one is C. And you can check C, A, B, E. So A, B, E. All the three have been visited in this path. Now we have to check whether the six nodes have been visited. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, all the nodes have been visited. So there might be a chance of having the Hamiltonian cycle. So there should be an edge from C to A. Then only we can say that is an Hamiltonian cycle. So check out C. A, B, E. So there is an edge towards A. So this is the one possible solution. So it forms a Hamiltonian cycle. And now go with the backtrack and move with the alternative. Next alternative C. A, C. So C is having an edges from A, B, E. A is already visited. So there will be edges from B and E. Now B. Depth for search B. B is having edges towards A, C, D. A, C has already visited. So D. D. B, E, F. B is already visited. So E and F. E. C, D, F. C, D is already visited. F. F. D, E. D, E is already there. Now check the total number of nodes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So all nodes have been visited. So there, by, there is having a chance of getting the Hamiltonian cycle. So check out the edge from F to A. If there is an edge from F to A, then we can say this is a Hamiltonian cycle. So F doesn't have, F didn't have the edge from F to A. Right? So this is not feasible. Backtrack, backtrack, go with the alternate solution F. So coming to F, D and E. So D is visited in this path, but E is not visited. So you can write it here, E. Now check E with C, D, F. C is there, D is there, F is there. So all nodes have been visited. So count the nodes. A, C, B, D, F, E. Total six nodes were there. So that implies there is a chance of getting Hamiltonian cycle. So we can say this is a Hamiltonian cycle if there is an edge between E and A. So E doesn't have an edge towards A. So this is also not a feasible. This is not a feasible. Now, backtrack and here we are having an alternative. So E, A, C, E. E is having edges C, D, F. C is already visited. So we can have an edges towards D and F. Depth for search. So we need to find out the depth. D. D is having B, E, F. B, E, F. So in this path, A, C, E, D, we are having only E. There is no, no path from B and F. So give the B here and F here. Coming to B. A, C, D. A is there. C is there. D is there. So not possible. So there is no new edge to unvisited nodes. So there is no, it's not a possible solution or a feasible solution. Move on to the backtrack towards this one and go with the alternative F. F is having again D and E. 
So in this path A, C, E, D, F, we are having already D and E have been visited. See, E and D are, have been visited. So there is no edge towards the unvisited. So this is not a feasible solution. So backtrack and move with the alternative F. So F is having the edges D and E. So F is in this path A, C, E, F, there is no D. Okay, F is visited to D. Now you can check a D. B, E, F. In this path A, C, E, F, D, E, F are visited. B is not visited, so you can have B here. Now B, A, C, D. A is there, C is there, D is there. So all nodes visited, right? Now check the total number of nodes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So total nodes, all nodes have been visited exactly once. So they, they, it, it may lead to the Hamiltonian cycle. Now check the edge from B to A. Whether B is having an edge to A. Yes, it is having. So this forms the Hamiltonian cycle. This is one solution. Right? So all the possibilities we have compared and we got a two Hamiltonian cycles for this particular graph. I'll write here the solutions. See, solutions, Hamiltonian solutions. The first solution is, see, A to B towards D towards F towards E and C and A. So this is the one Hamiltonian cycle. So starting from the source vertex, I am considering the source vertex as A. So starting from A, visiting B, D, F, E, C. That means all the remaining vertices exactly once and coming back to the A. So you can check here A to B. So this is one solution. A to B, B to D, D to F, F to E, E to C, C to A. So this is the solution one. I am I'm just for uh, representation, I am representing it as one. Just for understanding. right? This is the first solution. And the second solution. Let us take this one. A to C, C to E, E to F, F to D, D to B and B to A. So this is a one more solution. That is a one more Hamiltonian, Hamiltonian cycle. So let us draw the here. A to C. A to C. C to E. E to F. F to D. D to B. And B to A. So this is a second solution. Second solution. Right. So in this particular graph, we are having two possible solutions that means the two Hamiltonian cycles so starting from source vertex visiting all vertices exactly once and reaching the source vertex is known as a Hamiltonian cycle right so here once again I am saying in this backtracking we are not finding the optimal solution we are finding all the feasible solutions with the help of brute force approach that means checking all possibilities so for that we are drawing the state space tree where we can get all the feasible and non-feasible solutions. So this is a state space tree. Okay, from here we, we are able to find out all the feasible solutions. So here we got the feasible solutions, two solutions. Right, so let's stop here. Hope you understood uh, this Hamiltonian cycles, finding the Hamiltonian cycles in a graph. Right, so if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, Share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.